You guys know what today is? Today is update day, and with update day, you can be sure we're gonna get some fun changes, and today it looks like the Street Sweeper was not able to escape the Nerf Hammer after all, so that's a big fat bummer. But don't worry, because I got you covered with all the stats you need to know, and right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you this nerf really was not that bad. Also, they did nerf the combat stock on all the Cold War guns, so sadly, we won't be able to use the Gallo like we're playing Doom anymore, but I'll cover that at the end of the video. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it. So checking out the patch notes, the first thing they state is that they straight up yeeted the Street Sweeper out of the ground loot pool and replaced it with the Hauer. Stating, the Street Sweeper's wide availability fostered a dynamic where passive play was incentivized and rewarded. We do not think this type of play is particularly compelling for either party when players do not have the necessary tools in the early game to effectively counter it. Basically, they're saying some dudes were out here camping and sitting in corners with their rose skins and ambushing you with the Street Sweeper. Overall, I'm totally okay with this change. In fact, this is really the only change that was needed. I even had a video that was coming today that was talking about what would I change, and that was pretty much it. Just take it out of the loot pool. The biggest issue the Street Sweeper had was it was just way too available for everyone to use as a really strong secondary early game with Ghost equipped and their loadout and all that. Now they have to pick it and use Overkill, so I'm okay with that. But now we get to the juicy part of the update. For the Street Sweeper, we had our base hip spread increased, recoil increased slightly, and our aim down sight speed was reduced slightly, meaning it's gonna take a little bit longer. While shotguns tend to have limited viability outside of early game, thank god they realized that, we find the Street Sweeper is a tad too effective given its rate of fire and ammo capacity when compared to other weapons of its class. This change will decrease its lethal range slightly, punish inaccurate sustained fire, and give a little bit more time to react. So they did mention it would decrease its lethal range slightly, and this seems to be because of these changes they mentioned above. I went in to check the ranges themselves, and there didn't really seem to be any noticeable range changes to its max damage range or its 3-shot kill range. I noticed it was a bit less consistent in its 3-shot kill range, but that's about it. So it's still going to give you roughly a 7 meter 3-shot kill. And this was fully aiming down sights though, and aiming chest area, because chest area seems to be the place on the body that gives you the most consistent damage results where I always test my shots. So if we take a look at these changes piece by piece, you're going to start to see this update really wasn't that bad of a nerf. The hip spread was said to have increased slightly, meaning now you have a wider spread, which generally you want to avoid that so you can get more pellets on target. I didn't have any pictures of the hip spread pre-nerf, sadly, but I did manage to screen grab a picture from a video that I made comparing the Gallo and the Street Sweeper's hip spread. Now, what's interesting is that the picture you're seeing is actually four pictures on top of each other, and there's just a little bit of opacity there. Now, the two pre-nerf hip spreads and the two after the nerf are all layered here, and as you can see, they didn't change. The difference between the two shotguns, the Gallo and the Street Sweeper, is the same when it comes to hip spread, which means that the base hip spread did not change at all for the Street Sweeper. So I'm not really sure what to think of that, but for the recoil change, it's really barely noticeable to me. I went in and shot a wall at about 10 meters away, and to be honest, I wasn't holding down the thumbstick at all, and it was just kind of staying in place. But bottom line, this change is negligible, especially in shotgun range and ranges that you'll be using this thing. It's just not gonna be that much worse, I promise you, it's really not that bad. As for the aim down sights penalty, it does seem like it got a slightly slower aim down sights time, but only by about a frame or so from what I could tell. It's aim down sights time was never anything too slow or too fast. It was pretty average feeling, so now it may just be slightly slower, but it's still really good, and most of you probably hit fire it anyway, so it's not that much of a big deal. And really, that's kind of it. These were the quote-unquote nerfs? Well, then I'm okay with that, because these changes are all pretty subtle, and they don't really change the gun much at all especially in its ranges you'll be using it. So that's really good news to me because I was pretty bummed to hear that it did actually catch a real nerf. The biggest change needed was just taking it out of the ground loot pool, so I think right now we're in a great place. And now with all these other nerfs happening, the meta is slowly getting even better, and this is really awesome. I'm so happy to see SMGs now are kind of making a comeback. I don't know if maybe they just said that they made these changes to the Sweet Sweeper, but they really didn't, just to appease the community, but as long as it's not spammed as ground loot anymore, I think we're A-OK. -okay. Now, for the bad news about this, 
the patch didn't really change the nerfs from last patch, the stealth nerfs, and they did not change at all. So the ranger barrel still only gives you about 6% more range, and the task force barrel is still the way to go for the most range on these shotguns yet again. If you tuned your classes to how they were before this patch, really don't change them. They're still really great and they're still going to work perfectly. If you want to use two good classes, try these out. One is using the reinforced heavy barrel, which gives us a tiny bit more range and a better fire rate, resulting in a faster time to kill up close. Then we have the range built class with the task force barrel instead of the ranger barrel. That's probably the biggest thing to take from this video is that the ranger barrel is still useless as of last patch, not this patch, because it did catch some sort of weird stealth nerf that I'm not even sure was intentional because it just doesn't make any sense. Now, Raven did also tune the combat stocks across pretty much all the Cold War guns. So now the Gallo and the Street Sweeper are not nearly as effective with these things on. As you can see, they still do help, but not even close to the amount they used to help, which was kind of ridiculous, I have to say. Are they still useful? Yeah, I guess so, but now I think you're kind of better off using the no stock attachment overall for most engagements. You can still make this one work, but good players are not going to have nearly as much of a difficult time tracking you when you move, so rest in peace combat stock, it was fun while it lasted. And that is just about going to do it for this video. So overall, not a bad nerf. Thankfully, it's out of the ground loot pool, so it's kind of out of the limelight, and I think people are going to kind of just not really notice it as much. But despite the small and really negligible changes it got, the Street Sweeper is still a fantastic shotgun to run, as is the Gallo. Just remember to check out my last video if you're more curious about the recent stealth nerfs that the barrels got for the Cold War shotguns. But to sum it up, don't use the Ranger barrel and stick with the rate of fire barrels or the Task Force barrel for the most range. Now let me know what you guys think. Were these nerfs actually worth it? Do you actually feel any difference in the gun at all? Do you think it was just kind of all for show? And with all that being said and out of the way, I want to wish you all a happy day slash night, and I'll see you in the next video.